when your spirit speaks when god speaks to you you need to listen even if you don't understand to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet then make sure that you click the subscribe button below and join the revolution also turn on my post notifications so you know every single time that I post so I'm trying this year it's 2021 I'm trying to get straight to the point with my videos and not waste time so today's video is going to be about the spirit of discernment learning to recognize the voice of God in your life and training yourself to listen when you hear God speaking so I just want to share with you guys three tips testimonies of mine that will speak upon the spirit of discernment. So the first story that I'm going to tell you is about a guy that I was in class with here at my university. So I'm an accounting major and there's this other guy who I think is either an accounting major or he's a finance major. Either way, he and I are in most of our classes together because you know our majors align and we end up taking the same classes at the same time. And I've never spoken to this guy. I've only seen him in my class and heard his voice when he answers a question. We've never interacted it like I, I I don't know him but for some reason my spirit was literally repelled by him I literally just didn't like him and it didn't make sense because like I've explained he's done nothing to me he's not even like one of those people who are so annoying in class so you're like oh my gosh I don't like you but it wasn't even that but everything about him just annoyed me even the sound of his voice would repel me every time he would speak I'd be like will you keep quiet let me tell you guys how he sounds so he's like, so I told my mom that one day I'm totally gonna get a job and go to work and I, I'm gonna give her all the money that she paid me one day. I'm gonna pay her back for all that she's done for me. Like, that's run about what he sounds like. But anyway, for some reason, I never liked this guy. And so I opted to stay away from him. One time I literally had to change a whole topic that I wanted to do for group work because he had chosen the same topics so they wanted us to work together. So I changed my topic. And I did this because literally my spirit couldn't stand him. And I said, you know what? I'm going to trust my spirit because because my spirit knows who it belongs to many months later one day one of my best friends Nahum is telling me about a guy who he knows who has recently left a fraternity and this guy is now spilling all saying in this fraternity they initiated him into demonic cults and into sex cults and all sorts of demonic things this guy has now found Christ and all he speaks about is Jesus and he was exposing all this stuff and he said the guy who actually was the one initiating them into all these cults and organizing it and the the guy who was deeply demonic and occultic himself was no other than this guy that my spirit told me to stay away from that I couldn't stand. Okay, that was a bit dramatic. I'm sorry, guys. And I was so surprised because I knew nothing about this guy. But when my friend told me this, I was like, that's it. That is why my spirit told me to stay away because literally my spirit could sense that obviously our spirits don't align and the stuff that he's into spiritually doesn't align with me as a woman of God, as a spiritual woman, as a Christian woman. So that's the first story that I want to tell you guys about. And the moral of that story is when your spirit speaks, when God speaks to you, you need to listen even if you don't understand. If God is telling you, don't be friends with that person, then do not be friends with that person. Even if you don't understand, you will find out later. God will reveal it to you. You should pray for God to reveal it. But until it is revealed to you, stay away because God knows your spirit is in tune with the things that your physical eyes cannot see. The next story I want to tell you guys about is about an opportunity that I had to be in an organization. So I'm very involved at my school. I just finished serving as the president of the Black Students Union and being in this role has afforded me so many opportunities. God has really opened so many doors for me as a result of me being in this role. And so there was an opportunity for me to join another organization which is sort of in line with what I was doing here on campus and my role as the BSU president and I was approached by many people in the organization saying listen we need you to be a part of us we want you to be a part of us we think that you'd be an excellent um, addition to the team and we can do great things and again I did like some of what they were doing and you know it was in line with what I was doing but literally what happened my spirit said no God 
told me no. There was no justification, there was no explanation. I had a faculty member come and ask me, Benita, why are you refusing to join this group? It literally makes sense. It's gonna open more doors for you. It's gonna allow you to be in more rooms and more spaces and stuff like that. Basically, being a part of this organization would also you know, bring about more opportunities and stuff. And I literally told her, I said, my spirit said no. And this person that I was speaking to is not a Christian, is not a spiritual person. One thing about this person, they do respect my beliefs. They don't mock it. They don't, um, you know, say, dude, that's crazy. So when I told them, they looked a bit dumbfounded, but they were like, hey man, if you say so, then I believe it. So anyway, point being, I rejected the offer. Reasoning, God told me no, my spirit said no. Did I understand why? Was there anything physically evident showing me that this is a bad move? No, there wasn't, but my spirit said no, God told me no, so I said, all right, fine, I'll sit this one out. Many months down the line, I got another opportunity, a way bigger opportunity, actually, like a very, very big opportunity. And turns out, if I had accepted a role in this other organization, it would have 100% blocked me from being in this other position. I can't go into too much detail, but guys, when I tell you that the second position that I got is literally way bigger than being on this organization. This, if you thought that first offer was gonna open doors for me and put me places, this one puts me directly in the middle, directly where I need to be. I just want you guys to understand how good God is and how like, just listen when God speaks to you. If I had accepted that first offer, literally it would have prevented me from getting this second offer. But anyway, that's the second thing. And so only a few months down the line after I listened to the voice of God, did I understand why God did it. What is the moral behind this story as well? It is don't touch what God says, don't touch. Don't do what God says don't do. Don't go against God because of your own ambitions. You think that you have big plans for yourself, that you have big ambitions for yourself. God knows the plans he has for you. Plans to prosper you, to give you a future and a hope. God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above and beyond what you could ever think of and imagine. So that is the moral of the second story. So now that I've shared my testimonies with you, I know some people do have the question of, but how do you know when God is talking to you? I want you guys to know that I'm a young Christian woman who's on my journey. I'm far from perfect. Like when I tell you I'm far from perfect, God is not done with me. I'm not even halfway. I, dude, you don't even. You don't. I promise. Like and even even it's it, it was it's been a bit of You don't even understand. So I just want to make that clear as well. So you guys know that I'm also. I'm just sharing my journey with you where I am. But don't think I'm not like some pastor or you know not to downplay the grace of God upon my life or anything, but. How I know God is speaking to me, let's talk about thoughts. I will get a thought in my mind that I, I can feel is not mine. So for instance, sometimes I'll get a thought saying, go check on this person. And generally as a person, I do get thoughts. I do think, you know, oh, go check on this person. But sometimes when this thought comes in, it's not mine. I literally, it's almost like there's a filter. I really can't explain. Comment down below if you know what I'm talking about. Maybe you can better explain it. But it's almost like there's a filter I can feel, I, 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 I can decipher, I can tell that this thought, it's in my mind, it's, I'm, I'm hearing it in my voice sort of, you know, kind of, but it's not my thought. And that's when I know God is talking to me is when I get that kind of thought. Obviously, if the thought is a, is a good thought, you know, so for instance, like I know the voice of God will never tell me, go cut yourself or something like that. You know, that's the voice of the devil. That's, the, that's a demonic voice. But the voice of God is always instructing me to do good things or, you know, leading me in the right direction. So that's one way that I found that I hear from God. Another way is through dreams. Dreams are very, 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 very important, guys. I personally believe that dreams come from somewhere. For instance, if you go to sleep watching a horror movie and you dream about, you know, things harassing you in your dreams, more often than not, it's because of what you're watching. But if you are not watching anything weird or anything like that, but you go to sleep and you dream about dead people, you dream about yourself in a grave, you dream about just, you know what I mean? Dream about people chasing you in your dreams, dreaming about yourself in places that you should have long graduated from 
from, whether it's school or a, a place that you've left. I take dreams very seriously and dreams don't always manifest in the way you dream about them. So for instance, you may dream about yourself falling into a hole and dying. It's not necessarily that you're going to fall into a hole and die, but it is telling you that the spirit of death is looming. So I pray against it. Um, so dreams are one way and it's not just that, but also some dreams are God trying to warn you or tell you something I don't always understand every single dream not gonna lie but dreams are one of the ways that I believe God talks to us as well um, another way is your spirit and this is linked with the spirit of discernment so my spirit telling me I don't like this person don't be friends don't take this opportunity you know this is a this is the spirit of discernment your spirit being able to discern the spirits you know and discern what is good what is bad when I say my spirit told me it's sort of like a gut feeling does that make sense it, it feels like a gut feeling I don't believe in a gut feeling I believe in the spirit that thing it, it tells you you know it's not you you know it's not you it is something that is telling you what to do and also more often than not when your spirit is speaking it's not going to really harass you you know sometimes it'll be persistent in a thought but it's not gonna shout at you it's not fear you know how fear can be crippling and literally keep you from doing something it's not like fear it is a thought it is a feeling it's actually a feeling I feel it here if that makes sense like it's alright here it won't leave me but yeah so my spirit tells me something and that again I can tell it's not me I can tell it's not my idea and something that is very challenging i must say is learning to listen to your spirit because sometimes it doesn't make physical sense so when i turned down the opportunity it didn't make sense when i didn't like um these two people for no reason it it didn't make sense my actions didn't match with what reality was showing me the spirit is spiritual it sees what your two eyes cannot see it sometimes doesn't match reality but the spirit holds a truth that is truer than even the reality even than what you are being shown do you understand and that's a part of faith you know faith is the evidence of the things unseen just because something is unseen doesn't make it unreal I want to end off this video by telling you listen when God is speaking to you learn to recognize the voice of God even if it doesn't make sense to do it do it anyway especially if god is telling you trust god trust god more than you trust yourself like don't even tr like you are not even worthy of trust god is worth trust you, you are not always right god is always right you don't know everything god knows everything that's it for today guys i hope you like this video don't forget to comment like share and subscribe please comment down below and let me know are there different ways that god talks to you what are some of your testimonies and just any news that god has laid in your heart that you feel like you want to share with us peace and love guys bye